Hello, here we are in Core Media Studio, and today we're talking about Engagement Cloud. Uh, specifically, we want to talk about push notifications uh, as a way to engage with your customers and visitors, uh, one of many tools that we offer brands. And we want to uh, target a specific group of users. So to represent those users today, we're going to slip into the shoes uh, of Sarah very briefly, who's 37 years old, uh, a female shopper, and who is interested in casual wear. Uh, but our system has also flagged that Sarah may be uh, an unhappy customer. Uh, in our case, we're looking at historical data from her purchases and seeing that the cadence of her orders has significantly decreased. So we think that she's, um, you know, maybe unhappy with the brand or is looking elsewhere. So we're going to start with this very simple tool uh, to potentially win her back. And then based on how that interaction goes, we could, of course, uh, employ uh, more uh, tools in order to maintain that customer happiness and, of course, brand loyalty. So we're going to look at the front end to see how this experience would look for uh, Sarah. Sarah, of course, is recognized on our site. She's been flagged as unhappy, uh, and she has consented to receiving uh, web push notifications. Um, so we're going to show that really quickly with the demo wheel. And there it is. So she has said, sure. And so we're going to see here very uh, momentarily, we get this web push. Uh, we're getting a 31% discount on our latest chair sale. Um, that's just a more generic web push notification um, for this demo wheel. So I'm going to show you right now how you can configure something like this really quickly uh, in the engagement cloud backend. So let's go to the back office. And here we will go to create a campaign hit new campaign here at the bottom. And here you can see the different kinds of campaigns we offer, but today, of course, we're just looking at push notifications. So we'll hit next. We have to give it a name. So in this case, we're gonna have something simple, unhappy customer one. And we're gonna add this to the campaign group uh, called discounts because this is a campaign where we're gonna offer some kind of special discount and we wanna keep those organized together. So then we need to define who's the audience for this. Um, this is going to be a somewhat personalized uh, campaign, right? It's not going to target someone exactly like S Sarah, because um, that is just a persona, not a specific customer. Uh, but we do want people to meet some kind of condition. So in this case, we are only targeting um, potentially unhappy visitors. You could, of course, add additional things, such as if, if this is only for females. Uh, in this case, we actually will do that because we're going to show... Uh, a female product that is getting the discount. So we only, only want to show this push notification to a relevant audience. Uh, so people who are interested in female products. And of course you could add more uh, to make it as specific as you'd like. And then we'll continue on. We need a title. So in this case, like I said, we are making it somewhat personalized. Um, not everyone is gonna get this notification, but at least just those who fa fall into this group we've created. Uh, so a special offer just for you, just some somewhat personalized copy to make them feel a little special. And then uh, give some text. Click here to redeem a special discount at checkout. Uh, of course, give them the URL that they're going to be clicking on to get that discount at testbrand.com slash checkout slash special discount. And then we will upload uh, an image here um, under our core media content. So we'll grab these jeans uh, just to show that it's a relevant piece of content. And then you get this live preview of how this push notification will work uh, or how it will look on both Mac and Windows uh, as well as Android. So then we just go ahead and move along to when we want this campaign to take place. It can be either immediate or we can schedule it to go at a certain time. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and fire it off. And you're gonna see that there's no audience for this. Again, there's no customers that fit this persona right now uh, in the system, but you will understand that once you have this created, you go and you have this kind of uh, overview page where you can check your configuration, make sure it has everything you want, and then you fire off this campaign. And as it's ongoing, it will update with your results. Uh, of course, this one again had no uh, audience, so it's gonna say it was a success, but you'll get full details on how many notifications uh, were delivered to how many contacts, if any were failed, uh, which ones were clicked, and so on. So you can use the data from that uh, to then 
continue engaging with your customers. People who click on it, great. They like the discount. They're not so unhappy that they want nothing to do with the site. Those who didn't click, maybe that's time for a customer representative to reach out to them, which you can also do here in the Cloud Contact Center. Uh, there's really no limit to the way you can mix and match these tools uh, to make sure you're orchestrating a really good customer experience uh, for your visitors and customers. So that's all today on push notifications. Stay tuned for more overviews and demos on Engagement Cloud. Thank you.